When it rains, it pours for HP. Hewlett Packard shares plunging to a decade low in early trading Tuesday. And you have to wonder, what can Meg Whitman do to save this company, if anything? Hewlett Packard reporting a nearly $9 billion write down on its autonomy unit. This is a software company that Meg Whitman's predecessor, Leo Apothecar, agreed to buy in 2011. And now HP is saying that they have found fraud at that company. This is just not good. HP doesn't need any more bad news because even without this write down, the company, like its top rival Dell, struggling in a world where PCs are quickly losing relevance to smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. HP may need to finally just bite the bullet and start selling assets perhaps. Maybe it needs to look for a potential buyer. Shares have lost more than half of their value this year. It's the third consecutive year where we have the stock plunging. You just can't keep this up before shareholders revolt. And you have to think that HP really needs to seriously look at its business, figure out what it should still be doing, what it does well, and what it needs to cut loose. It's really sad. This is obviously one of the most well-known tech companies in the world. One of the, used to be the pride of Silicon Valley, but that's not the case anymore. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Meg Whitman really wishes she was running the state of California instead. Being governor of that would have been easier than trying to turn around HP.